Hey there guys, this is Beast of Rock 3 and I am, uh, I've just arrived in Kyoto just now uh, from Tokyo so um, we're staying at this place called the New Miyako Hotel and uh, it looks pretty epic it's pretty, it's pretty sunny outside which is good and uh, yeah the Wi-Fi works well so can't complain um, anyway I'll see you when I've, I've done something interesting Hey guys, this is Beast of Rock 3, and uh, I'm at this big food gallery over in Kyoto. I'm just waiting outside a, a, a rather, rather hipster looking cafe over here called the Wired Cafe. It's a cup of enlightenment, apparently, so I'm just waiting for that to happen. <laughs> so I'm in this, this, this big food gallery. Um, so I just went on this uh, bus tour of Kyoto, um, and uh, yeah, it was real fun. We saw lots of temples, so we'll probably be going there, apparently. Um, so this food gallery is pretty cool. It has, like, loads of things. All the things. Um, <laughs> restaurants. Um, it has loads of uh, Japanese places, and it also has a Starbucks and a Subway and things like that. Anyway, I'll see you guys later when I do something else interesting. Hey there, guys. This is Beast of Rock 3, and uh, I'm at... Um, this this temple over here in Kyoto been a real f funzy going up this this big hill over here um, to get all the way up here and it's a very nice looking temple by the looks of it um, so we're going to go up these stairs and show you what's up there have a bit of a gander and maybe a bit of a perusal of all the different culture and such all right then so I am at uh, this 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 temple here and I am just looking around. Um, right, I have to be quite quick because you're not allowed to take photographs here apparently. So yeah, just just have a quick panorama. Just oh, much art, such culture. Okay, all right, Kulo. So there, there's this is the temple that we are at, and it, it's a it's a real funzy. Um, oh man, photography skills, upside down camera. All right. Well, I will, I'll see you later when we're doing something else. Make it interesting. Mm. Cool. Alright, hey there guys. So I, I got this good luck charm because because apparently um, the, um, the, the, the this shrine is, is dedicated to, to love charms and, and, and such like. So, so I, I got one myself. Apparently, let me just get, get it out. Um, this this one's for, for Aquarius people, which I am. So I got that for 500 yen. So apparently, I hear what you do is you ring that bell and then you drop it into one of the slots, right? And <laughs> I have no idea what to do, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, and uh, yeah, all right. All right. Okay, so one more thing. Um, so apparently this stone here, um, you're, you're supposed to be able to walk to that stone over there with your eyes closed and not hit into anything and then you'll, you'll, you'll find love. So I've enlisted my mum to, to come and do this and I'm supposed to be uh, her guide. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to say she's going to hit anything. Um, so. All right, let, let's see how, how it goes. Okay. You're doing well. Okay. Oh, bit to the left, there's someone in front of you. Thanks. Doing well. You're on the right track. And there you go. 
All right. I did good. Success. So, so there you go. All right. Cool low. So, and that was that was Beast of Rock through matchmaking all the way. So, uh, so I'll uh, see 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 you back when uh, I I do something else. Hey there, this is Beast of Rock Three, and we're at this temple here in Nara. Um, the, the temple of the five-storied pagoda, as it's called, um, and we're outside these 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 two temples here, this one here, and that one there, and we're also next to a place where there are loads of deer hanging about, because that's a real funsy. Um, so, so the, the, these deer appear to <laughs> just try and eat everybody in the whole park. But I assume they don't have any comment for, for, for my video, so I'll, I'll leave it there. So this here is the, the titular um, five-story pagoda. Um, and this is another pagoda here. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to take photos in either. So it's a real funsy, and you just get, get to have a look at them. So behold, my brethren. Hey there guys, this is Beast of Rock 3 and uh, I'm at uh, Todaji Temple in Nara. Um, it's, it's apparently the, the biggest wooden structure in the world and uh, there's a, a, big, a big Buddha in there. Um, let, me, let me show you what, the temple. I'm just sitting outside. So, so I, 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 you, you can check out my blog for, for, for pictures inside because you know that place is crowded up. With with loads of loads of Chinese school groups, so we, you can't really go in there anymore because <laughs> it's so crowded up. Anyway, um, we're planning on visiting a few more shrines before we head back to Kyoto. Um, so I'll see you when I do that. Um, all right, cool. Hey guys, so I decided to go back in the Todaji Temple, and apparently there's this column here with a really tiny hole in it. You can see people climbing through. And apparently. Climbing through successfully, it, it grants you your own little corner in paradise. So I'm going to um, record myself attempting to do it. Now, being being quite tall and having quite broad shoulders, I'm not sure how successfully this is going to go. Probably about as successful as as surgeon simulator, I, I, I bet. So as soon as I start doing it, I'm going to pass the camera to mum and she'll start filming. So all right, cool. I'll, I'll see you then. No corners for me. I get no corners. Corners are overrated. All right, so yeah, unsuccessful. No, I didn't like corners anyway, but yeah, my, my shoulders turned out to be too broad. Yeah, yeah, he had to do it kind of like, you know, with, with diagonal to diagonal, and it just didn't work. It didn't work, it wasn't happening. Um, <laughs> So, you know, that's, that's, that's the game of life, you know. <laughs> All right then, guys, so I'll, I'll see you when we go to another shrine. All right, see ya. Hey there, guys. So, um, so there are loads of deer here, so we've decided to uh, feed them, and mum, mum's feeding these guys, and they're kind of swarming around. <laughs> Since I climbed in the hole, mum's, mum's feeding the deers. So, there you, there you have it. All right, S stay in camera range. Transition. Okay, all right, next one. Where is it going? Oh, it's my Oh no, this is getting a bit scary actually. We're being attacked by deers, swarmed by deer. This is. No idea. Deer. Deer apocalypse. The little ones don't get any. Just, just throw it out. Throw it like a frisbee. Throw it like a frisbee. Like frisbee throw it. No, no, no. Frisbee throw it. Throw it like a frisbee. No. There was a whole lack of frisbee throwing there. And now there's none left. And now he's attacking. No, the camera is not a food. 
No, no, sir. The camera is not a boot. No. <laughs> Don't attack me, please. I mean, yeah, cats have a legendary, a legendary fear of, of deer mm. and such like, even small ones. Okay, I'm gonna end with a just a totes zoom in. Oh, totes zoom in. Some of that, yeah. Guys, this is Beast of Rock 3, and I'm playing Life. Spoiler alert, everyone dies in the end. Um, anyway, we're in um, at Nijo Castle over here. Very atmospheric. It's like kind of late in the day. It's, it's about it's about 3 o'clock, because we've spent pretty much the entire day at um, this manga library in Kyoto, which was awesome, by the way. I, I read completely English ones. Um, well, actually American. But, but still, I, I didn't read... I, I think I read one in Japanese, but that was... An American, yeah, you get the picture. I read English in manga, and it was really good, and I had a really awesome time. So now we're in Nijo Castle to do um, some sightseeing there, and we're going to uh, make make cats ensue in great proportion. All right, I'll see you in there. Uh, Kawabunga dudes, I'm here at the um, Kinkakuji Golden Pavilion, which is again crowded with school groups and such. I'm at, um, at this this Zen this Zen Buddhist thing over here, and of course there is the, the the Golden Pavilion over there, which you can just see, and then you can also see the hordes of people just crowding in. So me and Mum are going to try and infiltrate the the um, the swarm, and we'll we'll get back to on on the progress of our uh, secret ninja mission. Hey there guys, so I managed to get through the hordes of, of school children and, and get into a marketplace where I bought my favourite thing ever in Japan. It is literally the pinnacle of human achievement. So I'm, I'm going to do like a swish transition. Da da da! Da da da! Da da da! da, -da, 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 -da. Copyright strikes looming. <sighs> okay, so yeah. This thing here is an ice cream and it's awesome. It's like a chocolate bar and it's, it's, it's crunchy. But you see, the, the, the surprise twist at the end, it's also chunky as well. That's why it's, it's called Crunky. The, like, <laughs> Cobra advertising at its best. Right, I'm gonna eat some of this. All right, I'll just cut to where I've, I've managed to write and wrestle with all this packaging. So there you are. Aren't your taste buds tantalizing with terrestrial tenacity? This is this is this is it. This is this is what life means. All right, it's just little little shot that I can't see, so it might be absolutely horrible of me eating it. There you go. Some of that. Aren't you jealous now? Take that, society. All right, I'll see you guys later. Uh, hi guys, this is Beast of Rock Three, and I'm outside uh, Ginkakuji Temple, and I got myself one of these things. Look at that! Called the potato tornado. Um, you know, added added to the fact of the shaking effects given by Mum. She's my cameraman while I'm doing this. So, as you know, of Mum's legendary camera camera skills. So, I'm gonna have some of this. And what they've done? So, got a potato, put it in a tornado, and then and then put salt on it. Pretty much. That's pretty much how they did it over here. And it's actually pretty good. So there you have it, the potato, potato tornado. So anyway, I will see you guys because I'm going to the Philosopher's Walk. So it should be a real funsy. Uh -huh. Goodbye and goodbye. All right, so I'm on in the Philosopher's Walk, which is a walk presumably for philosophers. And it's this this thing for like a kilometer next to a river. It's, it's pretty cat. My only, my only trouble that I had with this philosopher's war is that, you know, philosophers, they tend to be deep in thought, right? So, imagine this, this philosopher guy, and he's, he's, he's going, ho-hum, meaning of life, and all, and all that. And, and he, he, he kind of goes, and then he falls into the river. And it's not that deep. So, it might hit his head and then lose his trail of thought. And that would mean it's not really a philosopher's trail, would it? Anyway, uh, I'll see when I'm doing something else. All right. Hey guys, this is Beast of Rock 3, and this is the last day of Japan. Sad face. Um, 
So we're just visiting a temple before we go off on a train to go back to Tokyo to fly the next day. So this will probably be my last video um, of, of this series. So um, I'm just going to say thanks, thanks for watching. Been a real blast making these things. And just as a, a final thing, I'll show you the, the five-story pagoda separate from the five-story pagoda. Um, this one's apparently the highest five-story pagoda out of the few five-story pagodas there are. Anyway, here you are. Lovely, lovely view. Yum yums. And it's very sunny, so my camera can't handle it. Way. Some of that action. And then, swipe transition. There's a nice garden too. So I will leave you with that. This is Beast of Rock 3, signing off.